In this video, we will discuss infinite sets. Let A be a set. If there exists a natural number n, such that there also exists an invertible function f from the set A to the set z mod n, then we say that A is a finite set, or equivalently, A is finite. If such a function does not exist, then we say a set is infinite. In other words, a set is infinite when it is not finite. Some familiar infinite sets include the integers, the natural numbers, and the non-negative even integers, but there are many others. On this slide, we present two important theorems regarding infinite sets. The first theorem will be stated without proof, while for the second theorem, we will provide a short proof. The first theorem is as follows. Suppose that A is a set such that for all finite subsets S of A, there is an element X in the set A where X is not in the finite subset S. Then A is an infinite set. In other words, if we take any finite subset S of a larger set A, and there is at least one element in the larger set A that is not in any one of the finite subsets, then A must be an infinite set. The second theorem simply states that the natural numbers are an infinite set. To prove this theorem, let S be a finite subset of the natural numbers. Since S is a finite subset, then S must have a largest element. Call this element B. However, since B is a natural number, B plus 1 is also a natural number. But, since b is the largest element in the subset s, b plus 1 is not in the subset s, but is a natural number. Therefore, the natural numbers must be an infinite set. The final topic for this video is countability. We say that a set s is countable if it has the same cardinality as the natural numbers. Remember that two sets have the same cardinality if there exists an invertible function f between the two sets. For example, even though the integers are an infinite set and therefore have infinite cardinality, the integers are countable since there does exist an invertible function between the integers and the natural numbers, as illustrated by the diagram below. Other examples of countable infinite sets include the prime numbers, the whole numbers, and the set of even and odd integers. This definition of countability for infinite sets implies that there are actually several different sizes of infinity, with the cardinality of the natural numbers representing the smallest size of infinity.